Okay, to be aware of all our videos once they are uploaded, kindly subscribe. Thank you. Today, we are looking at lesson number two, relate division and subtraction. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. Example number one. Majid is given 15 colored pencils to three friends. How many colored pencils will each friend get? So there are three friends. And Majid has 15 colored pencils to give to these three friends. So to find how much each of them, one, two, three, will get, what do we do? Very easy. All we need to find is 15 divided by 3. Now, at this stage, without using calculator, one of the steps or one of the ways of doing this is by following the procedure of this subtraction. What do we do? 15 is the main number. Then keep subtracting 3 from it until you get zero at the end of the day so let's quickly do this step 1 15 minus 3 is gonna give you 12. i take the 12 up to step 2 12 minus 3 will give you 9. i take the 9 to step 3 9 minus 3 6 take the 6 to 4 6 minus 3 3 take the 3 to step 5 3 minus 3 is 0. Once you've gotten to 0, then you stop. So let's count how many times did we subtract 3 from this 15 to get to 0. It is 5 times. So we subtracted 3 5 times. So in a nutshell, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So each friend will get 5 colored pencil okay i want you to pause the video and try example number two all right let's check if you are correct the student in mr muhammad's class are helping set up games for family fun math night each game can have four players how many games will be needed for 12 people so we have a total of 12 and each game we don't know the number of games but each game we have four players so what we can do is to do 12 divided by 4 okay so uh, if you follow the initial example the steps it says keep subtracting 4 from this 12 so we can have 12 minus 4 that will give you 8 8 minus 4 that will give you 4 then 4 minus 4 that will give you 0 so 0 how many times did we subtract 4 3 times 1 2 3 so therefore 12 divided by 4 is 3 so 3 games will be needed all right give it a try give it a try do this guided practice it's very easy what will be 10 divided by 2 so follow these subtraction steps 10 minus 2 8 i put the 8 here 8 minus 2 6 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. And 2 minus 2, 0. So how many times did we subtract 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times. Therefore, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Next, number 2. Now you cannot do number 2 by yourself, okay? Good. Now let's see if you're correct. 12 divided by 3. Using the subtraction procedure, 
12 minus 3 give you 9. I put in 9 here, yeah? 9 minus 3 is 6. I put the 6 here, yeah? 6 minus 3 3. I put the 3 here, yeah? 3 minus 3 will give you 0. So how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer is 4. 12 divided by 3 is going to give you 4. Now I want you to pause the video and lay your hands on this independent practice. After, play it back to check if you are correct. If you are not correct, check where the mistake is, okay? Alright, so what's going to be number 3, 16 divided by 8? Following the procedure, 16 minus 8 is going to give me 8. I put the 8 here, minus 8 is going to give me 0. So how many times? I did this 2 times. So 16 divided by 8 is 2. 14 divided by 14 divided by 2. If you follow the same procedure, you should do it 7 times. 18 divided by 6, do it 3 times. So let me do number 5. So 18 minus 6 is 12. I take the 12 minus 6 is 6. I take the 6 minus 6 is 0. So this is done 3 times. You follow the same procedure for the remaining number. You should get 15 divided by 3 by 5 to give you 3. 5 and uh, 3. Okay. Okay, this is what we have. Alright. So let's quickly take a look at um, some problem solving questions. So we're going to read the question to understand what we have to do. Question number 15. Salim buys a DVD set of a television series. Each DVD has six episodes. There are 24 episodes. So in total, we have 24 episodes. How many DVDs are in the set? So the total number we have is 24. And there, each DVD has six episodes. We don't know the number of DVDs. So for each to have six episodes, we can do this. 24 divided by 6. Okay? And uh, to get your final answer, 24 minus 6 is going to give me 18. 18 minus 6 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. And 6 minus 6, 0. So we did this how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. Question number 16, the final one. Try this by yourself. Fatima is making the same bracelet for eight of her friends. She has 32 beads. So in total, she has 32 beads. Okay? The same bracelet, bracelet for how many friends? Eight friends. So to know how many beads can she put on each bracelet is to do 32 divided by eight. And if you do that, you get 4. Alright, I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.